And welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Lisa Balick. An armed carjacking in Clark County this morning has ended with a suspect dead after sheriff's deputies found the suspect inside an American Legion Hall in Vancouver. The day-long situation started with a call to the sheriff's office, with a man saying his van was taken by an armed man and a woman. This at Northeast Hazeldale Avenue and Northeast 93rd. Shortly after, deputies rushed to the Goodwill in Salmon Creek, where witnesses say the suspects tried to carjack another car with someone inside. The stolen van spotted by the American Legion nearby. The male suspect spotted going into the Legion Hall. That's where there was an officer-involved shooting. The male suspect died. No deputies injured. Deputies then found the female suspect near the scene and arrested her without incident. Our Joyce O'Geary is live at the scene, has been following this all afternoon. Joyce, what can you tell us? I can tell you deputies are here right now still gathering evidence at the American Legion. This is where a man died earlier this morning and a woman was arrested half a mile away from here. Descriptions of the suspects near the Goodwill match the descriptions of the armed suspects from the Hazelhill carjacking. Uh, deputies responded to the area and set up a containment to attempt to search for the suspects. Clark County Sheriff's Office deputies located the stolen van behind the American Legion. They say the man entered the building around 1130 this morning. Deputies located the suspect inside the American Legion where an officer involved shooting took place. The man was killed. Then the search started for the woman. Right around 325 this afternoon, uh, the female that we believe is the second suspect was taken into custody uh, by Clark County Sheriff's Office. Um, as part of this, she'll be turned over to the Vancouver Police Department, who will be continuing on with the investigation. Officials have not released the woman's name or the man that was killed. Four deputies have been put on administrative leave, and that's standard procedure after an officer-involved shooting. Live in Vancouver, Joyce O'Geary, Coin6 News. Thanks, Joyce. Now, we caught up with the man who was the victim of the initial carjacking. Jess Arnett tells Coin6 the thieves first asked to borrow his car before suddenly pointing a gun at him and demanding his keys. He walks us through the steps of what happened. Pointed it at me and had me give him the keys, so I gave him the keys. And I started begging him not to take my kids' motorcycles that were in the back because I just got back from picking them up from the shop. Uh, he starts backing up. And he doesn't know how to drive my van very well, so it took him four times backing up, turning around. While he is picking up his girlfriend, I flung open the back doors and was able to unlatch one of the bikes and yank it out the back as they were driving away with the doors open. Wow. Harnett says he has not heard yet any updates about his van.